So fighting a rooster fish out of uh, these rocks is way, way harder than actually being uh, on a boat. So what uh, Martin is trying to do right now, he's just, he's trying to, the, the, the fish, obviously the fish is really tired, but he's really close to these rocks. We want to take him on the other side where we can actually bring it up. That's a nice rooster fish, no match. <laughs> Okay, what's up everybody? It's Arturo Chacon from TAC. I was sport fishing. Today we're at Rancho San Cristobal. Uh, I got here a little bit late. Martin's already down there, which he's the guide. You guys know him already from uh, the previous video. Yesterday we came over, we had a great time. We caught a few uh, big, well two, big rooster fish. Uh, and we released them properly, it was great. So today we're gonna go give it a try again. Uh, we're gonna get on the ATV. We're gonna go all the way to the beach uh, by the rocks and we're gonna go meet up with Martin. Hopefully we'll do great and uh, we'll get to get, have a nice episode. Okay, so right now we're actually setting up. We are right by the arch. The arches, I guess, and uh, this is where we caught the big rooster yesterday, like around this time. So we're gonna give it a try. It seems like a better day today. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna be using a couple of lures, uh, I mean poppers, and we'll see how it goes. Martin is already over there. He got here before me. And uh, so right now I'm gonna go try to beat him and catch something before him. <laughs> so we just got here not too long ago. And Martin's already hooked on a nice rooster fish. They're really big right now. So I'm putting down my rod. I'm gonna help him uh, release these uh, rooster fish. Mira, ahí viene el gallote, si se mira. So fighting a rooster fish out of uh, these rocks. It's way, way harder than actually being uh, on a boat. We cannot let it go to behind the rocks. It seems like it's really close to, the, to, uh, to us now. So what we do is just put a lot of pressure on it, bring it in as fast as we can. So what uh, Martin is trying to do right now, he's just, he's trying to, the, the, the fish, obviously the fish is really tired, but he's really close to these rocks. We want to take them on the other side where we can actually bring it up and uh, grab it and properly release it. We just got a nice rooster fish and he caught it with the Cabo Killer. You can buy these ones here in Jensen's. They're made uh, from uh, Cabo, here in Cabo San Lucas. That's a nice rooster fish, no match. Okay, so we're releasing the, the rooster fish. That was a nice rooster fish. Bye, 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 bye. Come on, go, buddy. There he goes. Ahí está, ya agarró. He's gone. Nice. Woo, okay. We was here a few minutes early before our throw. And we saw a lot of bait around. A rooster was chasing the bait. And we use our topwater lures, our cabo killer. And I throw my lure like 10 times. I have it, some heat and I landed one ready. We are here since 10 minutes ago and the roosters looks that they are boiling. So I hope we will find a few more of those with Cuero, Carlos and Arturo. So this is what we're gonna be using today. It's called a cobble killer. Yesterday we caught two uh, big rooster fish like the one we just released with this baby right here. And uh, that's exactly what we're gonna be using right now. It's actually three ounces and they're pretty good. Really, really good. You can catch all kinds of different species with these, these single uh, type of lure. Like I said, these are made uh, here in town there's uh this guy called jensen's jensen's tackle shop he's over there by walmart and you can find these puppies right there also the rods you can find them there as well 
I highly recommend them. They're pretty good. See, I said after, after catch a nice rooster, we need to celebrate with a cold beer. Okay, so we just finished the day. Actually, we were trying for a, a couple hours, you know? Yeah, a couple hours, a little for, more. For a couple hours, uh, we were successful because he got a big, big uh, rooster fish. I got here a little bit late for me to catch mine, but it's okay, I gave it a try. Uh, we're gonna give it a try maybe tomorrow again. But so far today, we did pretty good with Martin. Yeah, it was a beautiful, another beautiful day. Um, my friends, they called me, they was boiling before and we tried and we get one beautiful rooster and fishing is like that, you know? The bait moves and the fish moves as well. So we never know, we try now on the beach because it's easy to catch, uh, to land it right here on the beach than the rugs because it's really hard. Pull those uh, species, big species, big fish around the rugs, but it's, we're waiting for the bait around the beach here and it's gonna be really successful the next few days. Yeah, but so far it's getting better and better. The, the season just started right now and it's been actually great. So in a couple more weeks from now, it should be like really, really good, I think, you know? Yeah, yeah. This is the best season for roosters. All, uh, almost we catch one, two, three per day. So this is uh, hard work, but it's what it is. And this is what we're using. We're using uh, Jensen's. Thir ba the Baja 13, se llama, no? Yeah, this is a heavy Baja beach. We were using that heavy stuff on the rocks. And we changed our line. We was we started using the 80-pound braid line. And now we switch for 40 pounds because we don't have rocks around here. And we don't use too much drag, like uh, on the rocks. And 13-foot rocks, 40-pound Jensen line, and 80-pound leader, tap water lure, cabo killer. It's all you need. For roosters, you need killer pop, you need a popper, you need a top water lures and swim baits, like Baja Divers, Cabo Killers, and Killer Pops is dead. Yeah, and, and his secret is that as soon as you, when you cast, you cast as far as you can. As soon as he touches the water, he kind of splashes water, and then you start reeling in as fast as you can so that he can splash even more. And yesterday when I caught mine, I did that, and then the first time I splashed, and then I, I, I was going really fast and he was splashing on top of the water and there was like three uh, three yeah. big roosters chasing it but I, I let go I I, I I I didn't I didn't keep going fast and he didn't really take the the yeah, the, 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 like scary, the popper and then yeah. he told me to just keep going fast and if he gets really 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 close and they're about to ta attack that's when you go a little bit slower that's exactly what I did and, and look I get goosebumps just by thinking about it. It was pretty cool. It was the hardest fight, fight I have ever had with a rooster fish. And it was pretty much, awesome. it was really awesome. So that's what we're doing on surf casting with, with Martin. He's a professional guide down here in Cabo San Lucas. If you guys really want to do a, a guide tour with Martin, uh, send us an email, a message. And below you're going to see uh, a few different options on where to reach out to us. Thank you very much for watching. Martin and Arturo from TAC Cabo Sport Finching down here in Cabo San Lucas. Peace. Y el güero. Y el güero. Güero. <laughs> el güero. Güero is always with us too. He's, he's the lucky part, guy. He's part of the team he's now. He's some luck. <laughs>